Greetings, loyal, passionate, secretive Scorpio. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. And now I'm going to do the April 2019 overview astrology and tarot forecast for Scorpio. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Also, I recommend you watch the videos for the sun moon and rising signs and if you don't know your sun moon and rising contact me for a reading and i will let you know what they are everyone should have their chart done at least once in their lives and i'm going to flip these over quickly and then i'll go back and explain it to you in more detail and i'm going to briefly talk about the planets but quickly making the video shorter so Scorpio, as we enter uh, April, Two of Cups, a romance, union, partnership, and you're covered by the King of Rods. So, um, yeah, Scorpio is looking like there's romance in the air at the beginning of the month. However, Scorpio is also crossed by the Three of Swords, so it looks like there is in this cycle, um, some pain for Scorpio, um, like the pain of loss or separation. Um, the basis is there's a woman, um, and she seems to be maybe a bossy or domineering woman who is in the mix around a controlling type, perhaps. Uh, what's leaving is um, a message that came, some good news. What could come into being, um, again, more romance. Um, what will come into being is the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So it looks like there's a man being irresponsible in business or finance around mid-month. Fears or insecurities uh, the Ace of Cups reverse. So this is around hurt feelings or possibly around a creative flock. Um, others see you um, as uh, taking some time to yourself, reflecting. This may be towards maybe around the third week of the month or towards the end of the month. Um, maybe retreating, um, possibly even convalescing. Um, your positive feelings are, there's a lot on your plate, but it looks like even though you have so much on your plate right now, you are really enjoying all that you're carrying. You have a very positive feeling about everything. And um, the outcome is the Six of Cups reverse. So it looks like towards the end of the month, Scorpio, you could be maybe having a little falling out with a friend or not seeing eye to eye with a friend on something. Um, it could be a visit with an old friend. It could be an interaction with an old friend. Um, but it doesn't, it's nothing that's like a permanent, like death defying thing, but just a little thing. And um, I'm going to talk about the planets a little bit. As we enter April, the sun is in Aries, the moon is in Pisces, Mercury is in Pisces, Venus is in Pisces, Mars is in Gemini, Jupiter is in Sagittarius. Saturn is in Capricorn, Uranus is in Taurus, Neptune is in Pisces, uh, Pluto is in Capricorn, Chiron is in Aries, and um, the North Node is in Cancer, so the South Node is in Capricorn. And basically, um, April 4th, Pluto um, opposes the North Node, so Pluto and Capricorn forms an opposition with the True Node in Cancer. April 5th is the new moon in Aries. April 10th, Jupiter goes retrograde in Sagittarius. April 17th, Mercury enters Aries. April 19th is the full moon of Libra, the second full moon of Libra of this year, which is significant and very special and cool. Um, April 20th, the sun enters Taurus and Venus enters Aries. April 24th, Pluto goes retrograde in Capricorn. April 29th, Saturn goes retrograde in Capricorn. And April 30th, Saturn opposes the true node. Saturn in Capricorn opposes the true node in Cancer. And so 
There is um, a lot of action in the sky in April, so please contact me to have your April transits read. And um, if you liked this video, be, please give me a like. Um, follow me on Instagram at astrology.tarot.elianicole. And um, yes, please contact me directly for your own reading. This always works best when I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one and I can read on the phone, on FaceTime, or in person. So I can read for people anywhere in the world and I love to do it. So please, please reach out to me today. And um, I look forward to reading for you. Thank you. Have a great April, Scorpio.